Seventh grade open up resources, illustrative mathematics. Unit five, lesson six, subtracting rational numbers. Problem number one, write a sentence to answer each question. A, how much warmer is 82 than 40? 82 is 42 degrees warmer than 40. B, how much warmer is 82 than negative 40? Here you can see that there's 122 units between negative 40 and 82. 82 is 122 degrees warmer than negative 40. Problem number two from seventh grade unit two lesson eight. A company produces screens of different sizes. Based on the table, could there be a relationship between the number of pixels and the area of the screen? If so, write an equation representing the relationship. If not, explain your reasoning. Six square inches of screen times 5,184 equals 31,104 pixels. For this table, the number of square inches of screen multiplied by the same number, 5,184, equals the number of pixels on each screen. Yes, it is proportional. P represents the number of pixels, and A is the area of the screen in square inches. P equals 5,184A. The constant of proportionality would be 5,184 because you're constantly multiplying 5,184 times the area of the TV screen to find out how many pixels would be on the TV screen. Problem number three. A. What is the difference in height between 30 meters up a cliff and 87 meters up a cliff? What is the distance between these positions? The difference in height between 30 meters up a cliff and 87 meters up a cliff is negative 57 meters because 30 minus 87 equals negative 57. The distance between these two positions is 57 meters because the absolute value of negative 57 is 57. B. What is the difference in height between an albatross flying at 100 meters above the surface of the ocean and a shark swimming 30 meters below the surface? What is the distance between them if the shark is right below the albatross? This illustration shows a clear picture that the distance between the albatross and the shark is 130 meters. The difference in height between the albatross and the shark is 130 meters because 100 minus a negative 30 is the same as 100 and the opposite of negative 30. And the opposite of negative 30 is positive 30. 100 plus 30 equals 130. The distance between them is 130 meters because the absolute value of 130 is 130. Problem number four, find each difference. A, negative five minus six. That's like five negatives and six negatives for a total of 11 negatives or negative 11. B, 35 minus negative eight. That's like 35 and the opposite of negative eight. Since the opposite of negative eight is positive eight, we can rewrite this as 35 plus eight, and that equals 43. C, two fifths minus three fifths. That equals negative one fifth, because two minus three is negative one. D, negative four and three eighths minus negative one and one fourth. That's the same as negative four and three eighths and the opposite of negative one and one fourth. Since the opposite of negative one and one fourth is positive one and one fourth, we can add these two mixed numbers. I'm using eight as the common denominator. So the expression reads negative four and three eighths plus one and two eighths. Negative four plus one is negative three and negative three eighths plus two eighths is negative one eighth. So the difference for D is negative three and one eighth. Problem number five, from seventh grade unit four, lesson 10. A family goes to a restaurant. When the bill comes, this is printed at the bottom of it. 
Gratuity Guide for Your Convenience. 15% would be $4.89, 18% would be $5.87, and 20% would be $6.52. How much was the price of the meal? Explain your reasoning. To find the price of this meal, we can ask 15% of what number equals $4.89. We can rewrite this as 0.15 times n equals 4.89. Now all we have to do is solve for n by dividing both sides by 0.15. n equals 32.60. That means that the price of the meal was $32.60. Problem number six from seventh grade unit one, lesson two. Which is a scaled copy of polygon A? Identify a pair of corresponding sides and a pair of corresponding angles. Compare the areas of the scaled copies. First, let's identify these 90 degree angles on all the polygons. They asked us to find the scaled copy of polygon A. So first, let's look at the dimensions of polygon A. This horizontal side length on top is one unit in length. This vertical side length is five units in length. This horizontal side length at the bottom is three units in length. This vertical side length on the bottom right is one unit in length. This horizontal side length is two units in length. And this vertical side length is four units in length. Let's compare these side lengths with the corresponding side lengths of the other polygons. Since we're looking for a scaled copy, all the angles have to be the same angle and the side lengths have to increase or decrease proportionally. Polygon B doesn't look right. That can't be a scaled copy because some side lengths doubled when other side lengths didn't increase at all. So we can't choose polygon B. Let's look at the rest of the polygons. All the side lengths in polygon D doubled in length. That means that all the side lengths increased proportionally. So we can choose polygon D as a scaled copy of polygon A. None of the other polygons had all their side lengths increase proportionally, so we can't pick any of the other polygons as being a scaled copy of polygon A. Be sure to support my YouTube channel by liking this video, leaving a comment, and subscribing to my channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.